Today, student government elections approaching, a former UNF faculty member passes away, and a vandalized sculpture on campus. That's all coming up right here on Spinnaker News. Ospreys, I'm Taylor Johnson. You're watching Spinnaker News on Spinnaker Television. 30 candidates are signed up to run in the upcoming student government Senate elections. There are 26 open seats. The requirements to become a senator have changed since last year. The former requirements appeared to be too much for applicants as not enough students ran to have contested elections. SG's True Reigns explain more. There were 42 people who signed up to run in spring elections and because of the attendance requirement and signatures and um, all the various requirements, only 18 completed the process and so there weren't actually elections. Um. Now, an applicant only has to be an enrolled student with at least a 2.25 GPA to run for Senate. The Senate elections will take place October 28th and 29th. Dr. David Henry Goff, former president and chair of the communication department at UNF, passed away on September 30th at the age of 66. Goff came to UNF in 2007. Before that, he taught and was chair of the School of Mass Communication and Journalism at the University of Southern Mississippi for 25 years. Goff also co-authored several books on communication. A memorial service for Goff was held at the St. John's Family Funeral Home on October 4th. On October 1st, damages to a new art sculpture on campus were reported. The sculpture was recently placed in between buildings 15 and 14. According to a UPD report, the officer observed that the yellow sculpture had scratches at the base that were consistent with skateboarding. The paint was removed and moisture was visible under the paint. The officer saw black marks where cigarettes were extinguished on the sculpture. The information report has been closed. It finally feels like fall outside, but for more on that, let's toss it to Alex Kratz. Good morning, Ospreys. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. I'm Alex Kratz here with today's Spinnaker Weather Report. This cooler weather is here to stick around, at least for today, because we're looking at a high of 77 degrees and a low of 64 tonight. As you can currently see, it's sunny, and you can expect it to stay that way throughout the day. Calm winds will be coming in around 5 to 8 miles per hour. News for all you surfers watching, swells will be clean and about 1 to 2 feet today, according to Surfline.com. That's all for today's weather update, but before we toss it back to Taylor, let's take a look at your three-day forecast. Thanks, Alex. The River City Rumble took place this weekend, but to see how it ended, let's toss it to Brandon Thigpen. Hey Ospreys, I'm Brandon Thigpen here with your Spinnaker Sports Report. The Ospreys played in some exciting ASUN conference matches this weekend. We start with the men's soccer match against crosstown rival JU in the River City Rumble. The Ospreys came away with a 2-0 win against the Dolphins. This is the first men's soccer victory over JU since 2009. UNF remains undefeated at home so far this season. The volleyball team also played in conference matches, traveling south for the weekend. UNF lost to Florida Gulf Coast in a five-set match Friday night. And Saturday night, they lost 3-1 to Stetson, but set a UNF record for most team blocks, 18 in a four-set match. That's it for Sports Today. Taylor, back to you. Thanks, Brandon. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on Spinnaker News. But for more on the stories reported today and other stories, you can check out unfspinnaker.com. You can also like the Spinnaker on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at UNF Spinnaker. For Alex Kratz and Brandon Thigpen, I'm Taylor Johnson. Have a great day, UNF.